Hey guys, this is Darling Me and again, back for another little mini tutorial here. Uh, why isn't this thing moving? Oh, it is! Hee <laughs> hee, never mind. Um, <laughs> we are working on my picture here today. Uh, key. Oh, this is me, like, naming all the layers. I find that's very useful to do, because even though it seems like such a stupid little thing to do and it has like no impact on the drawing it's so much easier to find the layer you want to work on if you have them all labeled ahead of time so I always do this is my sketch of Keith that's how she started the pretty little sketch and there's the lines and here's the flats Uh, I work on the skin first, just like I told you in my last video. Always do it first for some reason, I guess, because there's more skin than anything else. And plus, if you start with the skin and you mess up the color, it's, it's harder to fix it <laughs> than the other things if you want to make a match, so I always start there. Notice my stupid little light sources I scribbled in? I ended up, like, not using them all that much, because, I don't know, why did I bother, right? Here I am laying in the very basics of my shadows, just trying to get a feel for, you know, where all the planes of her body are. Oh, my voice sounds so gravelly today, I'm so sorry. I was up like really, really late last night, like 4 o'clock in the morning. I guess I was up early. I don't know. But, so I'm like half asleep. Too tired. I don't know what to say. This part is like... Ooh, shadow, shadow, more shadow, more shadow, more shadow. Oh my god, I hate that eye. That eye right there. I had so much trouble shading it. Anytime I have one of these three-fourths views and the, the eye is away from the bridge of the nose, I'm like, what do I do with all that space in between? <laughs> I need to look it up, get some references or something, because I, I just did not know how to shade it. It was awful. I did a lot of awful things on this one. You guys will see me mess up so many times. I'm still not pleased with her skin tone. These light skin tones, I'm just not used to it. I'm used to the really um, deeply saturated, saturated kind of dark skin tones. And this one is really pale and it comes out looking kind of like wood. I don't like it. I need to practice more on these pastel colors. Now you know why all of my stuff is like always in the mid-range of tones or really, really dark. It's because when I get to light colors, I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> You'll see me like darkening up some of the shadows here, uh, fixing all of the, the blending. I know, I know, I'm not supposed to blend quite this much, but I don't know, I just like to do it. You have to live with it this time. Especially on these, this really, really light skin zone, if I hadn't blended it, the, the shadows would have looked awful, really blotchy. I'm going to blend away most of these shadows, but eventually I come back and add darker ones and change the hues, and it doesn't really matter that I got rid of them. This is probably why it takes me like twice as long to do skin as most people, because I end up undoing most of my work and then adding some in. I love that highlight on her cheek. <laughs> I never get to do highlights on cheeks because my faces are always pretty straightforward and my light source is never where I get to do one and I always think they're so pretty that little highlight right along the cheekbone so this time I got to do one and I was like yay but then I didn't know what to do with the side of her nose 
<laughs> I was like, usually I put a light there, but um, that's not where it goes this time. What do I do? That's <laughs> why so you have to experiment. Try new techniques. I had so much trouble highlighting this skin because it is so light. The only color I could use to highlight it was white, and I hate using white. It just washes everything out. And I was like, oh crap. Now so here I am like trying to adjust the the levels. I was like, I need more contrast. But then I tried to add color and it was too dark and murky looking and there was nothing I could do. I just had to suffer on with the really light skin tone. Next time I'm choosing something a little bit more pink, I don't care if she gets a tan or something. Because light skin tones are awful. I was adding blush. I like the blush I added to her cheek. Not so much the nose. I overdid it. Hello, airplane. Glad to see you back again. Don't mind me. I'm talking to the airplanes. But yeah, I overdid the, the red on her nose, and it didn't blend in very good. And I don't think in the final picture it shows quite as much, but in this early stage, I'm like, ah, oh, why did I do that? Oh, here I am adding uh, green to her forehead, purple to her eyes, blue to her lower face. Like I said on my last video, the human face, the way the blood, has, the blood vessels work. God, I can't talk today. Um, different portions of the face are tinted a little oh, slightly different. <laughs> so I always add those tones. And you're going to see me completely redo this later, the way I did her eyes. I put way too much purple when I did her eyelids, and it started to blend in with the smoky color I put on her eyelids, and oh god, it started to look awful. I don't know why I decided she was going to have really smoky eyelids. I guess I thought, oh, she's kind of punkish, let's add more eyeshadow, <laughs> but it really didn't fit with her. You'll see in the final picture that I, I changed it because... I don't know. It was too dark. She's got this really innocent, peaceful look. And then I interrupted it with these really dark eyes, and it just wasn't right. And I was stupid this time. You know how, uh, my last video, I said that I always, uh, do my lips in skin tones, and then I change the color later because it makes it blend better, and I didn't do it on this one. I flatted in the lip color because I didn't want to upload her with no color to her lips, and I wasn't thinking, I guess. And then as soon as I started coloring it, I lost all the pink in her lips. And it was really irritating. Yay, she has a chin. I always do that, that bunch of white on the chin. Uh, if you, I end up blending most of it away down into her lower chin. But just a little bit right there under the lip brings out that, that contrast line of the shadow under her lips. It's a nifty little trick. Here I am adding more white, trying to add more contrast. See how much that makes that little line stand out? More light to her cheek. I was having such a hard time with these really light colors because I could not tell if I was blending them correctly because my eyes just could not focus on them. Oh, and here I am messing up the corner of her eye. I always add those little crease lines under the eyes because it brings character to a face, if you ask me. It takes all of that just one tone area and breaks it up a little bit, and I like it, but in this one, I just I could not get it right because the angle of her eye. I ended up redoing it like... God, I don't know. A lot. <laughs> so you'll see me redo it here a couple times. So I was like, oh, from this angle, that doesn't look so bad. And then I'm like, oh, crap. That doesn't look good. So I ended up redoing it again. And again and again. There's another airplane. They're starting to frustrate me the downside to living here while I'm trying to do all these videos. I keep getting interrupted by stupid airplanes. 
Here I was adding more light to her forehead and right above her brow to keep in flow with the, the light that's on her cheek. I was trying to lighten up her jaw here because it looked like it just sank back into nothing after her cheekbone. But notice I left a dark strip in between her cheekbone and the lower jaw. <laughs> like you can really tell on this. Um, <laughs> that's for the hollow of her cheek. Oh, I still meant to go back and shade her neck, and I need to fix that when I decide to get rid of the lines, because I didn't shade her neck right. Uh, it needs more light there where her jaw meets the side of her neck. What was I working on? Oh, I was adding darker shadows to the nose to bring it out. and To the lips and the philtrum. Eventually, I'm going to erase these lines around her her lips and her fill trim because I almost nearly forgot actually when I first uploaded it. I uploaded it with the lines and then I was like, oh crap, I forgot and got rid of them because it looks better without them even on line arted pieces. And her ear, I need to fix her ear. I made the insides of it really dark but then <laughs> the outer parts are really, really bright and it draws way too much contrast and draws your eye away from the face. I need to go back and even it out a little bit. My pretty ear. I was like looking through all kinds of references. Like how do I draw an ear? Because all those little squiggles on the inside. I get so confused what direction they're all supposed to go. Adding more shadow to her face, trying to bring the contrast back up because you'll notice it's a bit more washed out. Darkening the shadows. Notice how dark these shadows are where her hair and her, her band across her face. The brighter your light source, the darker your shadows are going to be because they have to contrast the brightness of the light. So like you'll notice the, the shadows down near her arm and her neck are not nearly as dark as the one that's right under her hair and the the band on her head. And I'm darkening these up. They're getting some light too. I don't know what brush I was using. I think I was trying to paint with my eraser. Just wasn't paying attention. Here I am fixing the eye. I was finally like, okay, I've had enough of this dark crap. It doesn't fit. Get rid of it. So then I went over it with some shadow colors, added some light to bring out the the shape of that eye. Notice that I'm putting um, a shadow directly under her eyebrow. People forget that, but your eyebrows are not a 2D object. They're, they're 3D. The hair pops out, so add a little bit of a shadow, and it really helps with that on pictures like this. So here I was adding more highlight to her eye, trying to make it stand out like her cheekbone. Add some dark. Notice the really funny eyelash I have on the... What is that? That's our, to our left, the eye on the left. I guess it's her right eye. That's on purpose. It, it's not just that she has like really, really long eyelashes. When I first drew the sketch, I was like, oh, she needs that really funky eye shadow that goes way off to the side. And, and then when I was going to ink it, I was like, oh, but I want that, I want that line there. Because it just works well with her face. And I tried to take it off. And I was like, oh, that changes her appearance so much. So I left it. So, yeah, that's that's supposed to be eyeshadow. But eh, if she has really long eyelashes, she has really long eyelashes. Whatever works. Here I was trying to darken up the bridge of her nose. Get the planes to show a little bit better. Because I have a habit of, in these three-fourths view... Uh, not shading my nose is right. I leave them way too light. Don't put enough shadow and it just doesn't work. <sighs> oh. <sighs> Y'all.
yawning. I'm so tired. I need coffee. I like literally just woke up, but it's like 11.38. <laughs> it's not even morning anymore. And I'm usually an insomniac. I'm usually up by 6 or 7. And I was just up way, way too late last night. No, oh, I'm losing my voice. I was watching uh, Burlesque. Good movie. Yay. It's it's like Coyote Ugly, but with better singing. So I was up to like 4. And now I'm like exhausted. It was really stupid. I should have just waited and watched it today, but no. Of course not. Anything with singing, I'm like, yay, must watch. Here I am fixing some of my shadows a little bit, making them darker still. Oh, that, that shady spot right under her. Or did we establish it was her right eye, I think? Her right eye bugs me so bad. It looks like she has really dark bags under her eyes. I don't know if I fixed it. I'll have to look at the, the final picture. And if it's not fixed, I'm going to fix it because it bugs me. Here I was starting her hair. And I was going to do it with the marker brush. And I was like, oh crap, I changed all the setting on my marker brush. Why did I do that? So I'm going to have to remake it. I don't know what I was doing. I guess I was experimenting with some brush. Oh, I remember what I was doing. I was making a chalk brush. Somebody noted me. I was like, oh, I love your brush tutorial, but do you have a chalk brush? Because I need a chalk brush. So I literally sat down for one afternoon for like a couple of hours and tried to make a chalk brush for them. Why do I do these things? I don't know. It's not like I had something better to do. So I did. And I made one, and it looks really cool, and I'm going to upload it into my, my brush pack eventually. But I guess I overwrit my marker brush. You'll notice I'm just, I'm laying the darker colors on her hair right now. Just big old chunks of it. I gave her, like, the hardest stupid hairstyle to do with all of her hair flipped over her head like that. I was like, oh, I don't know how to shade this. <laughs> Without it looking like total crap. But I did. And I felt really stupid because I put all that orange on her hair. And then I had to go over it with the blonde hairbrush colors because... <sighs> I just did. I had to make it all blend in. I'll fix it in a minute. You'll see I'll add more orange. See, your hair's not that hard. Just went through it with a little brush and made really fast flicks of hair strands. Trying to even out all the color on her bangs. Because there was no point in adding little strands all the way down because I knew I was going to add darker colors. Here I come back with a smaller brush and even darker colors, adding more hair strands. I don't like shading hair when there's lines like this. That's why I cut back on a lot of them to begin with, because you can't really be very free with your brush strokes and stuff like that. You have to stay in pattern with the the inked lines. And, and it always comes out looking plasticky anyway, because the lines just make it look cartoony. I was not enjoying it. I'd gotten so used to coloring without lines lately. Here I am adding the orange back into her hair, trying to blend it back up into the blonde. I'd be really careful because I didn't want to overwrite my blonde too much. Came back with a deeper redder orange to add some shadows. I hated that. In the end, her, the orange on her hair turned less fluorescent like I had originally planned it. And I guess it's more realistic for it to have shadows, but I don't know, the dark purpley. I was like, oh, I wanted it to be like fluorescent orange, but no. Maybe some other time. I need to add like brighter highlights or something, make it stand out a little more. Yeah, that was way too purple. Why did I do that? 
everybody was like, oh, the purpley orange is cool. And I guess it is, but why did I do orange? I should have just gotten a darker red, but you experiment, you try new things, and you learn. This video is going by so fast. Would you believe it's almost over? It only took me an hour and like 18, 19 minutes to finish this picture, which is super fast considering. I used to do stuff like this in like nine hours. I got super fast. Yay! So when I sped it up for you guys, it went down to like, is it 32 minutes? 32 minutes. That's very, very fast. I guess it's good that I'm learning to work fast at the same quality as I normally used to do at nine hours. Someday I will be a master speed painter, yay! <laughs> I feel like I'm boring you guys because I have these long silences because I'm just half asleep. My eyes won't even focus yet. I should have done this late in the afternoon. Oh well. I've lost track of what I'm doing. Oh, there I am. My little, my little pointer was so tiny. Um, I'm adding highlights to the blonde of her hair and I added some to the, the orange trying to blend those in with the shaded parts mm -hmm. yawned again and here I was trying to bring the, the red out in her lips a little bit more because it got really really bland after I shaded it so I darkened it up and made it a little bit more orangey pink I want to add a freckle to her face. Every time I see my little pointer sitting somewhere on her face, I'm like, oh, that'd be a cute place for a freckle. Right there above her lip or right there on her cheekbone. I might do that eventually when I get rid of the lines and repaint this a little bit better. She needs a freckle. Oh, this is where I redid the silver. Her her headband and her lip ring were originally supposed to be silver. and I just kept looking at it, and I was like, oh, this picture is great enough. Her skin is so light and doesn't have much color, and the blonde of her hair is the same way, and it was looking really, really bland. And I just looked at the silver, and I was like, oh, I don't want to make you silver. It just, it won't look right. There's not enough color. And I just, I didn't know how to approach it without making it worse. So I gave it this kind of brassy gold color instead and I think it worked out better. It brought some of that color into her face. That's the same reason I uh, gave her orange eyebrows. Because <laughs> they were blonde and I'm like, oh man, these blend into her face so bad and there's nothing I hate more than eyebrows that you can barely see on people. It just seems weird. So, I was like, uh, well, we're going to assume her natural hair color is blonde, but uh, she dyed them orange too. <laughs> but maybe I'm wrong. Maybe her, her original hair color is orange and she just bleached the rest of her hair. Oh, I hate this part. The, the little nodes that come off of her headband and hook into her temple, I was like, gonna make them glow and I was like oh I'll make them glow like this yellowish orange color cuz she's all about orange and it just it didn't look right in the end the the little nodes blended into her face way too much they kinda got lost next to all that orange hair and the, the white of her skin and here I am like trying to make it glowy I learned this trick that if you nest white inside of a pretty bright color, um, 
and go over it with the airbrush. It'll make things look like they're glowing, this, this light hue of whatever the color was that you added, in this case, the yellowish-orange color. See, and it got completely lost. So then I was like, oh, let's add some shadow, let's put some shadow next to it, make it stand out from her face a little bit better. And it's still lost, but the shadow did help. I was like, oh, this sucks. So I got rid of it and painted in pure white, hoping it would stand out next to her hair in the shadows there. And it did. It worked. See this nifty trick I'm doing with these really straight lines? In Peito Sai, if you hold... If you click somewhere, hold down shift and click somewhere else, it'll make a completely straight line to wherever you clicked. It's awesome. It's a nifty little trick. Here I am adding some airbrush glow. You have to do it really, really close to the original pieces and then go over with a bigger brush and it makes it stand out really well. See, now you can see it on her face. So that's why it's white, not yellow. Because yellow just didn't work. And then I added some reflective highlights along her band. And I should have done it with a paintbrush, but I didn't. I did it with my, my pen tool and it was too hard and it just didn't look right. And I kept trying to <laughs> add a little bit of glow with the airbrush to make it, I don't know, fuzzier. And then it just stood out way too much and oh, I struggled with it so much. In the end, I just left it with a pen. Added some more highlights along those little seams because it makes them look 3D when you do that. Just that little strip of light works really well. And then I was like, okay, I'm going to do something more to her, her eyes here. Make them stand out a little bit better. So I added the crease. The trick to crease is like this. You go in with a dark color, and then you take a lighter color and sharpen up the utter, the upper edge. And then you take a blender and fuzz out the lower edge. And it makes it look like the shadow is resulting from the, the, cre the, the fold of skin right over the top. And I overdid it on this side and it bugs me so much and I'm going to go fix it. The shadows weren't dark enough on this part of her face quite yet, and I didn't add enough shadow to the crease, so it just looks like a line. It didn't blend as well as the other one. Here I was adding more highlights, trying to lighten up that eye a bit, because it looked too much just like one circle of the same color flesh. The highlight make, gives it a little bit more 3D. There I was fixing under the eye again. I was still trying to get that crease in correctly. Oh, I did fix that really, really dark spot. Yay me! I couldn't remember if I did. See, that looks much better. And then I messed it up. <laughs> I added more shadow. I guess it just didn't look right to me at that point. And then I undid it and I messed with it some more and I struggle with that part of the face so much. And every time I blended there, the stupid color of her eyeshadow would leak down into that right above the 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 cheekbone and darken it all up and I'd have to go back and fix it more. Next time I'm going to know better, and I'm not going to add on any eye makeup until after that part of her face is done. Now I go lightening things back up, trying to get the shine back on next to her nose. And then I tried to darken up that, her arm with the airbrush. Because the shadows just weren't deep enough. It, it needed to be somewhat close to 
the shadow under her hair. And so I went back trying to fix all of these little things. I darkened up that area right there where the jaw meets the ear way too much. I need to go back and lighten that up. And then I was like, oh, let's have more orange. <laughs> you can't go wrong with orange. So she got a little bit of orange liner to her eyelids. I think it adds a nice little burst of color where otherwise from there on down it's pretty much just skin 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 it brought the orange back down into her face just a tad and then I was like oh, I still hate this light skin tone and I tried to add more contrast and more color to it and I really wore it over this for a minute I was like Hmm, light, dark, but if it's dark, then it's too, too orange, too red. Light, dark, light, dark, mess with the contrast. <laughs> I literally sat there for like five minutes trying to figure out what I was going to do. And in the end, I added a little bit more color, but not nearly as much contrast. I didn't want to mess with the pastels too much. And so for a recap, there was the sketch, the lines, the color. Yay! It's all done. And there's the finished piece once I added in the background, gotten rid of the lines around her lips. See? No lines around her lips and her filtrum. And it's all done!